The first thing with, with starting anything, right? You need to have a concept of, of an idea. Whether it's a product or a service, you've got to have a concept. Let's say I've got a business idea and it's a shower brush, right? First of all, I've got to clarify my concept. And so I've got a shower brush and uh, I need to figure out, is there a uh, demand for it? So what I don't do is go and buy a million shower brushes and create and um, spend 100,000 pounds on a shop front on Oxford Street or a nice glamorous website. What I do do though is I get get some of my shower brushes, maybe from China perhaps, and I get a few of them and I and I get some different shapes and different pipes and sizes and hand grips or whatever have you, and I and I get them to my friends and family. I said, would you mind sh sh trying this for a week for me and tell me what you think of it? And they give some feedback and they say, well, maybe it was battery powered or maybe it was flashing lights or maybe if it was, you know, had uh, some kind of hand about it or maybe if it was able to talk to me and that AI features on it or, or whatever, right? You get some feedback from all those different people and you refine your concept you refine your concept once your concept is refined you want to clarify your audience for the first thing I asked the question earlier concept your audience who is your target market is it for disabled people for young people for old people for elderly people who, who is it for right so your concept is your first thing and your concept is by creating a prototype or a minimum viable product then your audience who's your audience you clarify those two things and then you make an offer to them and you know that it's got it's got a, the concept works and the audience is clear and you you put a price on it and you make a pitch to your audience and you get some feedback again and they say well Kenna that's a brilliant offer absolutely amazing 